Hello, my name is Chang Yun Seo, and from now on, I would like to explain about some things about the DMZ Museum. The military demarcation line signs were installed to prevent hostilities, separate troops along the demarcation line, and maintain buffer zones. On July 27, 1953, U.S. Army William Harrison signed the Armistice Agreement at Panmunjom, and North Korean Army Namir signed the Armistice Agreement as the head of the joint delegation of the North Korean People's Army and the Chinese People's Support Force. U.S. Army Mark Clark and North Korean Supreme Commander Kim Il-sung and Chinese Civil Support Commander Peng de Huaido signed the Armistice Agreement. Except for South Korea, which was the party to the Korean War, the UN, North Korean, and Chinese forces signed the Armistice Agreement under Article 563 with the full text, ending the three-year and one-month war. After the Korean War, on June 25, 1950, the UN and communist forces, burdened by the ongoing war, held their first armistice talks in Kaesong on July 10, 1951. The plenary session began in Kaesong in July 1952 and moved the venue to Panmunjom in October of the same year, but the talks were sus suspended for nine months due to the issue of the captives of the war. Then, on July 27, 1953, three years and one month after the Korean War broke out, the commander of the United Nations, the supreme commander of the North Korean military, and the commander of the Chinese People's Support Army signed an agreement on the Korean military blackout. This is the 727 Armistice Agreements. James Tutino a U.S. soldier from the 25th Infantry Division who fought in the U.N. and became a captive of the Chinese Army during the Korean War, wrote a letter to his family in Brooklyn, the U.S. from the North Korean PWO camp. The letter, which is, begins with, Dear parents and younger brother, is full of anxious feelings and longing for family. The team marked on the right side of the envelope is a sign of the censorship. You can see it right here. Tatina was a communist captive until he returned to U.S. military on August 13, 1953, weeks after the Korean War Armistice Agreement signed on July 27, 1953. This is the letter that he wrote during the war. This notice is a notice of missing Park Inyong who died in the Battle of Kumha District during the Korean War. The Kumha District is one of the geographical triangles connecting Pyongyang, Taiwan, and Kimha, which were called the Iron Triangle. It was a strategic point during the Korean War and was the site of the most fierce battle on the Central Front. This is the original version of the minutes for the first and 50th sessions of the hundreds of meetings were held in since 28 July 15, 1953. So this is end of our tour and I hope you are interested in our Korean War and I hope you enjoy our tour. Thank you.